Sometimes all it takes to get someone to follow or subscribe to your Twitch channel is just let them know that it's an option. That's why you need to be using stream labels. If you're not using stream labels, you could be missing out on hundreds of new followers when they join your stream. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up stream labels in Streamlabs OBS to get yourself some more followers, some more subscribers, or just generally more revenue for your stream. Let's go. Hey everybody, my name is LJ from streamscheme.com, more so a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to both those in the description. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your stream labels in Streamlabs OBS, how to edit them, resize them, how to make them scroll, how to make them count how many subs you get. We're gonna go through all of it. There are time codes in the description and in the top comment if you wanna to jump to a particular part of this video. And while you're down there at the top comment, why don't you chuck a cheeky like on the video or comment. First things first, let's cover why stream labels are so important. I feel like stream labels are most commonly used to give someone a moment in the light that lasts longer than their alert. If someone follows, the alert will most likely go off, but you've probably seen it already where it says recent follower on a stream and then next to it is someone's name. This is a stream label. People wanting their name up on the screen for a long time, whether it's because they're a new follower, a new subscriber, or maybe even the top donator, which is a label you can set up, is a great way to get more engagements for your stream. If you're trying to get to a certain sub count, you can even put a sub counter, or if you want to get a certain follow account, you can put a follow account so that every single one ticks up. It's a good way to let your community know that you're trying to grow the stream, and if they want to support, they can, but you're not beating them over the head with it by begging them. A label you've most likely seen on a lot of different streams is the top donator label, which can be a nice way to add some friendly comments competition because you're not telling people they have to donate a lot, but if they want to have their name up there as the main supporter, then they can do that very easily. So with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial section of this video. I'm going to start with showing you guys how to set up your stream labels in Streamlabs OBS, and later on in the video we will cover resizing, scrollers, sub counters, and even just generally editing everything you need. Now this tutorial is going to be incredibly quick and incredibly easy because Streamlabs OBS has stream labels built into it. You used to have to have text documents and all sorts of widgets to push and pull text and you had to edit things and fix things up outside of OBS or outside of slobs. These days, Streamlabs came in and said, hey, how about we just make it three quick, easy clicks to add it and then give them as much functionality as they want. There's no question, this is the easiest and best way to do it. So if we switch over to the computer, here you have one of my free overlays, which are gonna be released soon or are already out, check the description. Now, if you're gonna use one of these, the stream labels are actually already fully set up. However, if you wanna add your own, all you have to do is come down here to your sources, click the plus, click stream label. You'll wanna click add a new source, name it whatever you want. For example, you can name it new follower, click okay, and you have your stream label already put in. It's pretty powerful. Now you're gonna to have to edit the source. Now this is really simple, really easy. The same as when you edit any other source, all you have to do is double click on it or have it selected and click the cogwheel. You'll be greeted with the pop-up that'll just be like every other Streamlabs editor. It should default to all time top donator or something along those lines, but when you click this drop down here, you can change that. There are a lot of options, so take a quick look through, but I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a new follower to start with today, and then we'll get into the complicated stuff at the end of the video. So click on the drop down, search for follower. You get a few options, but for now, just click most recent follower. You'll see it changes the template here. Next, you can edit a few things. I recommend making the font size as big as possible and then resizing it down. Don't scale up the edges just by dragging. It won't create new pixels. So when you do that, all it does is make your file look really, really, really blurry. You can change the font here as well, or you can force the text to be all uppercase or all lowercase. You can change it to vertical or change the color. There is so much customizability. I think the most common question with labels is, how do I stop a really long name going outside of the box that I've put it in? And we're gonna cover that straight away. All you have to do is go down to use custom text extents. You'll see it'll start wrapping, so turn wrap off. You'll then have to try out different sizes, but essentially you're cropping it by changing the number of values. So as you can see here, I'm gonna change my values and then I'm gonna work out where the edge of my box is and I can play with it from there. So that should be a pretty easy start to show you guys how to add your own stream labels. You can pretty much play with it as you see fit, try out different ones, play with all the different stuff that fits. And I'm gonna get into showing off how to create a sub or follow counter and how to create a scrolling ticker as well, all within this widget. But first, I just want to throw it out there, if this video has helped you out at all, if you like this content, consider checking out my other videos. I've got stuff about the best games to stream, how to grow your viewers, how to set up Streamlabs OBS free overlays, all sorts of stuff. Check that out, and if those help you, maybe consider subscribing. Maybe? 
No? Yes? Okay, so on to counters. Well, counters are incredibly easy. All you have to do is the same way we search for follower. All you have to do is search subscriber or follower and find the counter. Now the counter will most likely be called session counter. And when you click that, all it's gonna give you in the template is these brackets and count. Now, when you first turn this on, you may actually be given a number. I'll show you how to reset that in a second so that before every stream, you can show what your counter is or you can just have an overall counter. But first, if you wanna add an out of, just come down to the label template add a slash and the number you want to reach. I have mine set to zero out of one. You might be thinking, LJ, why are you trying to only get one sub a stream? Well, I try to make sure that my goals are nice and small, easily achieved and really hype up the audience and myself. I'll go into why I do that in the future. So subscribe and I'll go through the entire logic behind it. But for now, you can just edit it and add whatever counter you want. You may also want to add a scroller. So maybe you want to set it so that your followers scroll through rather than just sitting there as a name. Now that's very, very easy. What you're going to do is choose your label. In this case, I have chosen followers for this session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my label down in my sources, click filters, add scroll filter, and add some horizontal speed here. If you want vertical scroll, then obviously you'll add vertical speed rather than horizontal. But for now, we'll do horizontal. Now we're gonna use the crop I showed you earlier, uh, which is the custom extent, and you can just change that to make it sort of fits perfectly. The next step is showing you how to reset your counters. Now, when you do this step, you're actually gonna reset all of your counters. So if you're trying to have a monthly counter using stream labels, don't use this system. It's just a bit fidgety this way, but what you're gonna do is hit this little cog wheel down here in the bottom left under general, and you'll have a restart stream labels. This will reset your counters. With all that out of the way, congratulations, you have got stream labels in your system. Don't forget though, that if you wanna use our new Streamlabs OBS free overlays that we've created, when you install the dot overlay file, it'll all be put in there for you, but you can also just edit and do whatever you want. So I hope it helped. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and we will see you next week.